Hi guys, this is Kayla and Barley from Journey Dog Training and we are going to demonstrate a little bit of mat training. Um, so Barley and I started out with mat training using Karen Overall's relaxation protocol. That um, PDF protocol is available on my website. You can just download it. I highly recommend putting it on your phone so that you can just stand there with your phone and practice with your dog. Um, Barley and I are at the stage now where we have gone through all 15 days of the protocol multiple times in multiple situations. Um, but he has not seen this mat for a really long time. It was buried in the bottom of our car. Um, I just haven't been practicing with it. So what I'm going to demonstrate today is an entirely new environment with a dog that is already very well mat trained and me, uh, you know, kind of messing around and seeing, uh, what that looks like. So again, to get started with this, use Karen Overall's protocol. Um, it's a 15 day thing that goes through some like really ridiculously detailed steps to get your dog super magnetized to this mat where they just want to be on it and then also gradually increase the distractions so your dog can lie on the mat pretty much around everything. Um, so I've used this, you know, in coffee shops, um, in bars. I 100% credit my ability to take my high energy border collie to the coffee shop with me to this protocol. So um, that's, that's your ringing endorsement for the day. So all it is is Barley and I have this little towel. I'm gonna put it on the ground. Barley remembers that he is supposed to go on it. And then I'm gonna do some different things to kind of distract him around um, this whole mat thing. So I'm gonna, you know, you'll just kind of see me messing around with it. Again, this is a dog that's already at a relatively high level of this training. Um, if you wanna get started with this from the bear, from the brand new get go, um, again, go back to that protocol. I highly recommend using one of these, like a small towel or something because it's much more transportable. I can just tuck this in the bottom of my laptop bag if I'm taking Barley to work. Um, I can bring it with me to bars. It's not super in, uh, like obtrusive. I would not recommend using like a big dog bed for this because it's just not as portable. So there's a lot of things that are pretty hard for dogs. One of them is um, their human changing position like that. Um, so me sitting often is hard. Um, movement. No biggie. Um, I'm going to go off screen for a second here. We're going to try something. Barley is a total toy nut. Good boy. Little jackpot for that. Um, and yeah, I mean, essentially... At the level that Barley is at with this training, I could probably pretty much take him anywhere I want with this mat, as long as it's not like a full on festival or anything. I'm really confident that he would be able to stay on this mat. So this is kind of a demonstration of, um, you know, uh, the higher levels of it and also the utility of it. As you're noticing, Barley is just kind of lying really calmly behind me right now. If I were cooking, um, and I actually do use something like mat training really often, when I'm cooking, I don't actually use our specific mat anymore. Um, or cleaning, um, Barley used to chase the vacuum. For the longest time, I would actually use mat training to get him out from under my feet when I was vacuuming. Um, you know, it's just, it's really, really useful. I also will use this when we have guests over. So later today, we're barbecuing out here. Um, I'm actually, part of the reason I wanted to do this training demo video right now is because I wanted to brush up before we had I know we've got like 15 family members coming over and I would like Barley to be able to not be under feet, underfoot and begging. And the nice thing about the mat specifically, rather than just teaching a duration stay, is it gives your dog like an anchor point. Um, couldn't explain to you exactly why, but every single dog I've ever worked with has seemed to find it much easier to stay on a given mat, um, that target, than it is to just stay put. Think back to kindergarten, um, where, you know, it was like, okay, Jimmy, you're on the red square, and Emily, you're on the purple cute, purple sphere, whatever, uh, not sphere, because that's 3D, circle. Um, that was much easier for those kindergartners and for you when you were a kindergartner than it would be to ask you to just sit still. So, again, that's kind of an introduction to the higher levels of mat training. If you're inter interested in actually getting started, go back to my blog on the subject. At some point here, I will get a brand new green dog and demonstrate bringing them up in this mat training. It's just a matter of finding a dog that um, doesn't know anything about it and wants to be on video. So stay tuned for that eventually.